Uh, hello, we're bringing another video this morning. We've been uh, working on having a continuing series, really, of uh, videos about bandsaw blades, thin curf uh, bandsaw blades in the uh, wood cutting industry, more for the sawmill resaw industry. And I wanted to do a short video uh, today uh, and just talk about the gullets uh, of a saw blade and some of the purposes. And then uh, we'll, we'll talk in another video about tooth spacing and then I'll have a longer video talking about uh, feet per minute and how much you feed and, and how big the uh, sawdust is and those kind of things. But uh, this is an inch and a quarter blade and uh, really the gullet depth varies. They used to make shallow gullet and now people make deep gullets and there's gullets all over the place anymore. The purpose really of the gullet uh, of a saw blade is to catch the sawdust. Uh, you make, a, you make a, a chip with the tooth and it comes into the gullet. According to how wide your, your board is, your log is that you're sawing, how much dust accumulates in this gullet. But that gullet is to give room to catch that and, and drag it out. <clears throat> so, so the depth of the gullet, we kind of like a little bit deeper gullet uh, for that purpose and it seems like uh, all of our customers are, are moving more toward liking a deeper gullet. But basically the gullet uh, from, from the tip of the tooth to the bottom of the gullet here, the deepest point, uh, around 275 thousandths, 250 thousandths is a quarter of an inch, so we like to be a little bit above that. Maybe, uh, maybe even uh, a little bit more sometime toward 300 thousandths, but that's kind of a, a range uh, where a deeper gullet would be, especially in an inch and a quarter blade. There's a lot of things that, that come into play and in, in how much beam strength you have left below the uh, gullet to the edge. So an inch and a quarter, you certainly won't want to come way down into that blade because you weaken the, the, the beam strength, you weaken the blade overall, it could cause breakage. But that's what that, that's all about is just being able to catch that gullet so uh, or catch that sawdust in the gullet. So then you have different tooth spacing and that comes into play and, and affects it uh, a little bit more as well. But we'll talk about that uh, in probably in the next video. But that's just a little information about what the gullet does.